everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going through some of my random favorites. So recently my friend Jennifer Joyce Beauty reached out to me and said, we need to collab soon. We've collaborated before. Absolutely love my friend Jen. She is one of the most kindest people and she's one of my closest friends here on YouTube. Her and Teresa is dead are some of my closest friends here on YouTube. And we come up with the idea to, you know, do a Amazon favorites and then I was like, okay, let's take it let's take it a step further because I have a lot of other favorites that I've recently discovered that I'm so excited. I wanted to wait and tell my July favorites to share these with you guys, but I have to share them with you now because I am so obsessed with some of these products. I'm not keeping it exclusive from Amazon. So it's basically my favorites haul is basically what it is. It's a haul of all of my favorite stuff that I've just been loving recently. So if you guys have not heard of Jennifer Joyce Beauty, she is amazing. She's a woman in her forties beautiful skin. She's really done a lot of videos about skincare, skincare devices. If you guys are into skincare devices, she is like the expert. She does a lot of DIYs. She's a hairdresser and a makeup artist. She's been in the industry for more than 20 years. She knows her stuff, so intelligent, and she is seriously a bad B, okay? Like that girl is so strong. Before COVID, she was doing several workout classes every week. She's just an incredible person, hardest worker, amazing. I definitely recommend you guys check out her channel, especially if you're into all of this specialized skincare. She does a lot of affordable skincare uh, treatments and stuff that's pretty incredible. So I will leave a link to her channel in the description box down below. She's amazing. So let's jump into some of my favorites. You guys, I am so excited to share these with you. So excited. Oh, I got a bag. I got a bag. The first thing I got to talk about is my newest favorite deodorant. This is the one that I could not wait to tell you guys about. I, I wanted to tell you now. I didn't want to wait until my July favorites because this is the best deodorant I have ever used in my entire life. In my entire life. This is from Donna Karen. It is the Cashmere Mist deodorant. Okay, now if you guys are into the whole natural deodorant thing, I commend you. I've tried it and I couldn't get through the phase of the nastiness. I couldn't do it. I completely respect everybody's opinion and views when it comes to, you know, deodorants and stuff. Uh, this one was actually introduced to me from Lisa Lisa D1. I don't know if you guys watch her. She has a great channel and she always does a lot of hauls, which I love them, but she talked about this and she was like, is the best deodorant I've ever used. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's expensive. This is mind blowing how good it is. The best deodorant I've ever seen. Yes, it's expensive, but oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I was working in the yard uh, last weekend and I know that my secret by the end of that day would not be working. This stuff is like budge proof, like bulletproof, like no stink is coming through this stuff. I don't know what's in it. I don't know. How. It's the best deodorant I've ever seen in my life. So I had to share this with you guys. I ordered it on Sephora. I would recommend if you're interested and you're just kind of bummed about the price, I would recommend picking this up next month during the Sephora sale. We all know that, you know, Sephora has a big sale in August. So you might want to wait to pick this up for 20% off, you know, just to kind of not make the price. So oh, I'm going to pay that much for a deodorant. It's so good though. Oh my gosh. It is worth every dollar. It's so good. Randomly. That was the first one I wanted to talk about because that is my favorite. Like I am so obsessed with that deodorant. Okay. So now I'm just going to start pulling them off. This is not in any particular order. The next product is my favorite tea. I think you guys have heard me talk about this a few times. It's from Yoshi or Yogi. I think it's Yoshi, but whatever. This is the immune support. They have several different blends, but this is my favorite. Not only because it is, it does help support the immune system. It's amazing. Like if you're sick, this is something I recommend having on hand for the flu season. There's something so soothing about this tea and I love the flavor of it. I just, I'm a tea drinker. I don't drink coffee. I love tea and I always like to do caffeine free because I drink tea at night. This is caffeine free. They have some that have caffeine, you know, for like the daytime and stuff, but it's so good. This is my absolute favorite tea. I just ordered a big, um, box of it. I think that had six boxes. I think it has six boxes. It was like 20 some dollars on Amazon. Such yummy tea, like the best okay. tea. Next up, we have this from Amazon. This is Jane's Crazy Salt. 
So I had never heard about this. I must be like in the twilight zone, even though I love to cook. Cooking is, it's another passion of mine. I absolutely love to cook. But I would say a couple of months ago, I don't know if you guys know this, but Jessica Alba has recently started her own YouTube channel and she pops up videos every once in a while and they are so fun. I just think Jess Jessica Alba is so like down to earth and you don't watch her and think that she's a Hollywood actress. You actually watch her and feel like she's just a neighbor or like a really good friend. I've always felt that like down to earth vibe from her. So I've always been a real big fan of Jessica Alba. Anyway, one of her videos, she was talking about crazy salt and she goes, if you guys have not tried crazy salt, you will die. It is so good. It is so good. I love sea salt. I love Himalayan salt. But this mixed up crazy salt, you put this on a chicken, you don't need to put anything else on it. I will put a little bit of black pepper on it, but this is the best salt blend. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm like, where, where have I been? All this time, everybody's known about this crazy salt but me. So in case any of you out there have never heard of crazy salt, you're welcome because it is fabulous, especially on steak. I'm not a big steak eater. I used to love steak, but for some reason, red meat and me just are not friends anymore. It just kind of hurts my belly. But if you love steak or your husband loves steak or whoever loves steak, they will love this on steak. It's so good. I'm getting a little carried away here. The next product is from Dr. Teal's. I cannot live without these in my bath. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am, I love my bath time. I get, I have a nice, big jacuzzi tub in my bathroom and it is my time to relax and just oh I can't go without my bath at night like it is my sanctuary it really is and I will go in there and you know read my bible or you know read the verses I have the bible app on my phone so I'll sit in there and just relax read the bible like just relax sometimes I'll watch Netflix on my phone like my bath time you guys it is like the fa it's my favorite thing to do anyway so dr tills this is the pink himalayan mineral salt i think or mineral soap i think this is a new blend you guys have never tried this mineral soak in the pink himalayan it's awesome it smells so good mm, it smells so good but i love how my skin feels when i get out of the tub um from using this so if you guys like bath salts this dr tills is awesome this is a new one from Dr. Till's. Now, of course, I have to have the foaming bath. Like, I have to have the bubbles. I like this much bubbles. Like, I will literally turn on the jacuzzi tub and, like, fill the bath with bubbles. I'm like a five-year-old in there. <sighs> All I need is my Barbies and washing their hair, and I am back to my childhood. But this is the uh, shea butter and almond oil to soften and moisturize, and I love this blend. It's so good. It smells so good, too. It's got a like a real soft shea butter scent to it. It's just amazing. So anyways, Dr. Teal's all the way. If you guys are, if you are like me and you love to take a nice warm bath, you have to, you have to incorporate Dr. Teal's. You just, you have to, it's like a must. It's a must. What is a bath without Dr. Teal's? Just doesn't exist for my, in my world anyway. The next product is this from Amazon. So there's a couple of things in here that Jaclyn Hill got me. I think it was her recent Amazon video that she uploaded, but she talked about this hairbrush that she uses when she's washing her hair and she'll soap her hair up. This scalp massager like scrubby brush thing is amazing. It's super cheap, but so worth it. The next Amazon order you guys do, pop this in your order. You won't regret it. I just lather my hair up with the soap and then I go in and just start going to town on those roots and on that scalp and I massage it in and it feels amazing. And look how much volume that gave my hair. Well, it has a dual purpose. The next product that Jaclyn Hill got me into, I, I, I have the other pair, which I'm gonna put the picture up here. They just got ruined and I had to throw them away. So, Okay, long story stupid short. I don't know why I'm saying this, but long story short. I have a washer and dryer. I think we've had it 13 years, the set. And it was one of the first front loading sets. And they're on their last leg. And I am the type of person that 
will not buy them until they are done. I don't like to buy new appliances until they're done. Prior, the, the little vent thing comes down and it like, anyway, it's like sloops down into the door or not into the door. It's in the base of the opening of it. And one corner of it is kind of tilted up. And any pants that I have that have these drawstrings, if I don't tie the drawstrings, it will catch it and rip it. Well, my sweet husband did a load of laundry over the weekend, threw some of my clothes in there. Of course, he wasn't thinking because he doesn't know. I don't tell him these things. And it snapped the string completely off, meaning it not only ripped it out of them, but it snapped the string. So, and they're cheap. I'm just going to get me another pair. Long story short, Jaclyn Hill talked about these super comfy pajama pants. They are so comfy. I don't know what the material is on the inside. They're cheap, don't get me wrong, but they are so comfy. If you're looking for those like flare laid kind of comfy pants, she was right on these. These are awesome. I really, really like these. Really comfy, highly recommend them. The next thing that was also from Jaclyn Hill that I love, um, I had bought a pair of Lululemon bikers and I biker shorts and I felt like they were a little bit too tight and I just want them to be I don't want them to be okay so when you get older if you wear biker shorts that are too tight they cut off the circulation around your thigh and then they make your thigh look bigger you, you know what I mean like it will kind of bunch and then your skin will kind of be thicker or bigger than the actual biker short like where it wraps around your leg it makes it bigger looking. So I didn't love those Lululemons. I gave them to my daughter. They're really cute, but I just didn't love them. Oh, in Jaclyn Hill's video, she talked about these super cute biker shorts. I love these. They have the perfect pockets. They fit perfectly. And you get two pairs for like 30 some dollars. I can't show you the black pair because I'm actually wearing the black pair right now. But this is the gray striped pair. So these are, I think, the size small. Yeah, so these are size small, and they are so cozy and comfy. So they fit just right. They're not too tight. They don't, like, cut off the circulation in your leg, but they're tight enough to look like a biker short and wear them as a biker short. Love these. Absolutely love these. And they also give up here, like, the elastic around here kind of gives a little bit. So you know, if you're having like a, you know, you've ate too much belly moment. They don't suck you in though. A lot of biker shorts around the waist will kind of suck you in and kind of give you a tighter stomach. These don't do that, but I absolutely love, love, love these. So Jacqueline was right on these biker shorts. They are bomb. Okay. The next product I want to talk about is this eyelash curler. It's heated. Okay, so if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I was struggling with this eye and my eyelashes on this eye, they I kept they kept falling out right here, and it was driving me nuts. Now they're still starting to come in. I don't have any lashes on. These are my real ones. Um, this was always just really getting fuller, and I was wearing you know the eyelash serum, and they were growing in really good. But this side just wasn't growing in as well. And like right here in the middle, they would come in, and then they would break off again. And I'm like, what is the deal? And it happened twice. Well, I come to find out, I found out it was the eyelash curlers that were doing it. I think because my eyelashes are just not strong enough to be crimped all the time. So I bought this and I love it. I actually do this morning and night. The reason why I do it is because like when I get up in the morning, I will like go ahead and just curl them like this. It heats up and you just go like this. What I've noticed doing it several times a day. So for example, I do it in the morning and then when I come down to film and I'm getting ready for the day and I'm putting my makeup on and stuff, I will do it again. And then I will do it at night. What's happening is my eyelashes are staying big, like they're staying curled. So of course it took a long time. So I've been using this for probably a month and a half, maybe two months, three times a day. And what I've noticed is that they're getting to that point where they're staying there. So when I first started doing it, my eyelashes were kind of sticking out, but now they're staying curled even without doing it, which is really fun. So if you guys have weaker lashes like I do and you're having a problem with the regular eyelash curlers kind of pulling them out, I highly recommend a product like this. Like it has changed my eyelashes. I'm obsessed with it. These are awesome on Amazon. 
I don't buy the real expensive uh, self tan remover mitts because I go through them too quickly. Because the problem is I use fake tan every single week. So I, you know, I scrub it off, freshly apply a new coat and it lasts me a week. What happens is the more that I use these, you know, the less grit they have, the less they work. I like to replace these about once a month, uh, maybe once, you know, maybe every six weeks or so. So buying them on Amazon is way better than buying the more expensive ones just because they're not going to last any longer. That's been my experience. The ones that I've bought, they're not going to last me five, six months. They start to lose their exfoliating abilities. And so... I like to buy the more affordable ones because I'm going to throw them away anyway, so it doesn't matter. So if you guys are like me and you're constantly applying, you know, self-tanning, these exfoliating mitts are awesome. These I just recently bought and I love this color. I just painted my toenails with these and I love this color from Kathleen Lights. This is a really good nail polish. This is no joke. This is not just a YouTuber and buying it to support a YouTuber. This is no joke, a really, really good formula. I'm so impressed with it, but it's the color. You guys, I don't have anything like this. I see how beautiful that nude shade is. It is so beautiful, especially if you have a little bit of a tan on your hands. But this one is Myla, and this one is a little bit more of like an off-white, but it's such a unique color. I've never seen anything like it. It's a very cool-toned off-white, and it's got a little bit of a gray in it, but it's really pretty. I just, I really like it. But that other color, the Lila, oh my gosh, you guys, if you love a nude nail polish, that Lila is so good. So if you like to wear nudes like I do, you will know that sometimes you have to go over it three times to get it to be completely filled. Not with this. This is very, very pigmented and two coats does it. Sometimes only one coat. It's really pigmented and it's not sheer at all. It's a really good polish. Like one of the best polishes that I've used in the nudes. So if you guys have been thinking about the whole Kathleen Lights, this is amazing. I am so impressed with her polish. Like, so good. The next product here. Oh my gosh. I am such a hot mess. I get so excited talking about things I love. Like, I get beaming. I love talking about things that make me happy. The next product is from Bay Harbor Beauty. Oh my gosh. I love this. Okay. The owner, she makes these. This is all handmade. She has her own little facility that she makes these. Okay, this is probably one of the best lotions that gives your skin that beautiful shine. So if you like, if you're wearing a lot of shorts and you want a little bit of that beautiful shine to your skin on your, like your legs and stuff, this is unbelievable. Plus it is so nourishing. You guys have heard me talk about how I've wanted to find a really good moisturizing lotion. Okay, so she sent a bunch of her products to me last year and I fell in love with them, especially the body polish. Oh, it's so good. But I'm obsessed with the body butter. Like, I can't believe I went this long without buying it again. Okay, so she sent it to me. I loved it. And then when I ran out of it, you know, because I'm on YouTube and I'm testing a lot of products, sometimes I'll fall in love with something and then I'll move to the next product and try it and then sometimes I don't go back. And I almost forget just how amazing this is. So recently I was watching Lisa Lisa D1 again and she talked about how she absolutely like this is her favorite body lotion and I was like, oh, I forgot all about that brand. What is your problem? So I just went on the website and got it. She sells it on Etsy. I jumped on there and bought it. I was like, why have I not been buying that? I am so dumb. So I went ahead and bought it. Anyway, she gave me a code, which I'm gonna put it down here at the bottom of the screen. If you guys are interested, you can save 10% off. I don't get anything from it. It's just a coupon code for you guys to use. This is such a good body butter. Oh my gosh. It gives that skin that beautiful shine. So if you don't like your skin to stay shiny, this might not be for you. But I like to wear shorts and have my, my legs look really hydrated, but not oily. Oh, so good. So good. Lisa Lisa D1, uh, she describes it perfectly. The next product is from By Terry. I am obsessed with this. So this is the T2 Tan Face and Body. 
and I'm obsessed with it. It's the Hydra Bronze Shaker Spray All Over Water Mist. This is the best bronzer that washes away. And you might say, well, why would you use it if you're using fake tan? I love the way my legs look when I wear this over top of my fake tan. So the best thing that I have found to apply it is I'll take a little bit of lotion because it is it is watery. So I'll take a little bit of this lotion and put it in the palm of my hand and then I'll spray, you know, several sprays and then roll it around and then put it on. And my husband even commented, he's like, dang, your legs look good. You're getting a tan. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of fake, but thanks. <laughs> so anyways, this is really, really good. The thing that I like about it is it doesn't wear off on my clothes. I've been wearing a lot of kimonos lately, and one of my kimonos goes down to my feet. And it was white, and I was kind of concerned that maybe it might you know, turn that kimono or like tan or whatever, like fade off onto the kimono, but it didn't. Now I bought the set and this one is the face one. And I don't know how I feel about this one yet. I'm still, I've only used this once. So I can't tell you how I feel about this. I've only used it once. I've probably used this 10 times and I've only used this much of the bottle. This stuff is the bomb. Like one of the best like bronzers that bronzes your skin and then washes off. It's so so good. So those are all the favorites that I have been loving in the past uh, month or two of all the hauls that I've been buying, like things that I've been buying and just absolutely loving. So again, thank you, Jen, for collaborating with me on this video. I am so excited to head over to her channel and hear what she has to say and what her favorites are. I think a lot of her products are from Amazon and I love Amazon hauls because I get sucked in and I can't help myself. So I hope that it was helpful. I will leave a link to everything in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.